Ah yes, water. It's delicious. It's refreshing. And you like to drink it while you work. You know, gotta stay hydrated. You mistakenly put your glass right next to your dirty watercolor cup, and as you're working away, you don't pay attention, and next thing you know, you're dipping your dirty paintbrush into your drinking glass. By popular demand from my last painting with video, I'm going to be painting just with water. How will it go? Let's find out. So just like with my painting with wine video, I had to reduce the water because as we all know, water is clear and it doesn't have any color to it unless you know how to extract the color from the water, which is what I'm going to do. If you bring your water to a slow simmer, you can actually create a really nice, cool, sort of bluish tone to it. If you bring it to a boil for a while, you can actually get a really nice, warm red color to your water. Obviously, if I'm going to be painting with just water, I was going to have to extract those colors because otherwise it would just be clear and I wouldn't be painting anything, right? So then it was time to swatch my reduced water concoctions and it was really interesting to see the difference between the regular boiled and simmered water because like I said, you get that really cool color with the simmered and the really warm, surprisingly warm for water tone. So it's really hard to see. It's kind of like when you go to the paint store and you see like eggshell colored and you're like, what's the difference between eggshell and white? I guess if you kind of are familiar with different colors and tones, it's easier to see, but there, there's a difference here. Even though it's very slight, there's a difference, and I was really excited to get to sketching. As usual, as you guys know the drill now with the Painting With series, we get to sketch our character, and because water is a healthy drink, or at least, I don't know, I think it's a healthy drink, everyone needs water, I thought we would draw someone that's like a health nut, someone that is, you know, very healthy, they like to only consume things that are good for them. So I thought we could draw this really big, beefy dude who works out, because in the last draw with video, I was like, oh, I need to draw more dudes, and I never do. Well, this is looking like a muscular woman. Uh, that's my habit of drawing women. So, yeah, I thought we would just draw... I need to look up references of a muscular dude, obviously. Muscular dude. Is that what you Google? I don't know. Oh my gosh, there is a link to Pornhub. Maybe don't look that up. Okay, this is actually a really good one. The pose and everything would be perfect. So, oh gosh, muscular dudes have the biggest necks. Um, so yeah, we've got our, oh gosh, we've got our shoulder muscles. We've got our pecs and our bodies. I gave him hips. I, I'm telling you guys, I just really like to draw women. Well, what can I say? So he's got his muscular leg up on a wall, but because I always have people consuming things and floating, I think this would be a perfect opportunity to have him floating, obviously. So he's wearing almost nothing, just some underwear to show off those muscles. So we're gonna have him floating. Gotta get that big old knee in there. Big old calf. Wow, muscles sure are muscular. Okay, well I ran out of room, but we're gonna make him look more like he's floating. And of course he's gonna be consuming this delicious drink. Wow, muscles are... Muscles are something that I think are really fun to exaggerate, but obviously I do need to practice more on my muscles because they're hard. So there's gonna be water going into his mouth. I think I'm going to try a few other muscular poses. Okay, we could have like a classic, like he's doing the strong man thing. We're just gonna do some figure drawings here. So he's holding up his cup of water and of course it's going into his mouth. Let's see. Oh, here's a classic pose. The one where there's a guy looking forward. Gotta give him that big, strong chin. That little muscular booty. We gotta get that little muscular booty in there. But also he's floating, so we gotta make sure, you know, that he's floating. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this guy. He seems pretty fun. Um, yeah, let's get to painting. 
So when it came to color choice, I had to decide what bits were going to be the cooler bluer color and which bits were going to be the warmer red color. So overall, I think I decided that it would be best if I had a darker, warmer color for the light art because it was a lot stronger and deeper of a color. Because it is still water, we're not working with very dark, rich colors here, obviously. It is, it, they're both the warm and the cooler tones were, they were a little weak, obviously, so the line art wasn't going to be too much stronger and I had to make sure that the line art was going to be distinguishable, I guess, from like the shading and all that sort of stuff. And overall, because I am so used to using watercolor, I am used to using a medium that is very similar to the texture of water. With watercolor, you do add a little bit of substance to it. Sometimes it's grainy, sometimes it's chalky, but with water, it's just, it's very smooth and easy to work with, very fluid, obviously. So I was really thankful that was a very smooth process. And especially when it came to the line art, there was no chunks or anything. It went down really smoothly and it wasn't even soaking in on the base colors. So that was really easy, which also meant for very easy shading as I went through with the shading. I even got a really lovely gradient on the back leg. It just looks so good. I was really impressed with how the colors gradiented together. Would recommend. There was no leaking. Everything stayed in place and it was just looking pretty good. My muscular man is, he turned out really cute, I think. He's, he's so muscular. I need to draw more muscular dudes. And as usual with my painting with videos, I had to do the ring of splatters of water. So I got my hair dryer out and sprayed out those water droplet things and then splattered water droplets around the character just to add some fun splatters in that. That's that. This was such a highly demanded painting with video in my previous one. So I thought I would go ahead and use it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.